welcome to Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly. Thank you for joining me today. This is a special workout, and this is one that I have specifically designed for my friend and client, Brittany Butler. Brittany has recently been crowned Mrs. Utah, and we are so proud of her. She gets to uh, compete in February for the Nationals. I am very, very proud of her, and one of the things she has asked me to do is to do a little workout to help with the calf development because they have to wear these high heels, and because of COVID and the lockdowns, they haven't really had an opportunity to wear the heels, so she specifically wanted this workout to help with the high heels, and I thought, you know, this is probably good for anybody, anyone that wears high heels. We're going to go through a little warm-up, we'll do some calf work, and then we'll give you some stretches at the end to do. The workout should only be done every other day. Let the, the calves heal in between then so you don't want to do it every day but definitely the best way to, to get used to wearing heels is to wear them before an event you know start with walking around your house in them for an hour and then slowly increase that time until your feet become used to it you can also if your feet are sore you can freeze a water bottle make sure you pour some of the water out to allow for the expansion but pour some water out put it in the freezer when it's frozen, you just place it on your foot and you can roll it on your foot to help with those arches. It'll help relieve any soreness or uh, swelling. You can also use like a lacrosse ball or you know, just any small ball that's solid. And you can roll that back and forth on your foot when you feel a, a really kind of intense pain. <laughs> I don't want to call it pain because it's, it's just a very intense feeling. Don't go toward pain but definitely an intense pressure on there. Just hold it there, breathe through it until it releases. You can also um, go on YouTube and find some videos on how to do that myofascial release for the arches, and that can help relieve some tension and pain that you can get from wearing high heels. So, ready? Here we go. All right, before we begin, all you really need is a chair. You can do these against a wall if you don't have access to a chair. Uh, if you do have access to a chair, choose a high back chair, something that you can easily reach. This is actually a bar chair, so it's a little higher than like a kitchen table chair, but any chair that you have will work fine. Just make sure you're up nice and tall. We are going to do these exercises for 30 seconds, and that includes the warm up. When we get to the body of the workout, we're gonna go through each move twice, the stretching and the warm-up will just be once through. I wanted this to be a quick little workout you could throw at the end of another workout. I also designed this to be something that every fitness level could do. So if you find that this is too easy, then I want you to go through this twice or increase the time that you do it. Just pause it and increase the time. You can get a timer on your phone, on any device that you have. If you find that this is too difficult, I want you to decrease that time. Just do it for less and slowly work up to the 30 seconds. All right, if you're ready to go, let's go ahead and start. Standing up nice and tall, roll those shoulders, feet hip width, tuck your tailbone, tummy tight. We're gonna take the weight of the body to one side. We're just gonna ankle roll. And you're trying to kind of go four times around, and then you're just gonna switch and move to the other side. And then back the other way. So it doesn't really matter if you hit four or if you hit five or if it's even, you really want to try to just ish. All right, we're not overthinking this. Soften that other knee, lifting that heart. Good posture, always important when you're working out. Always, always. This may, this hip may start to talk to you, right? It's holding everything up. Let's go ahead and switch to that other side. So we are getting a little bit of hip work as well. Soften that knee. Everything's connected. We got to work the ankles and strengthen the ankles and feet in order to strengthen the calves, keep everything working in unison. Anybody that's worn heels, you know, those ankles have, and feet really have a lot to do with those shoes. All right, beautiful. Up top. All right, we're gonna take it down, moving to the other side. Let's go ahead and point and flex, point and flex. So the point is the opposite of being in heels. The flex is kind of more in that position of in a heel. In heels, you're more on the toes or the balls of your feet. So you gotta work that opposite angle as well. So we're warming up the calves and the top of the feet into the shin. And just give me as much of a toe point as you can. Everyone is different. Higher arched people tend to be able to point a little better. 
then flat feet or low arches, point and flex. So give me what you can. Shoulders relaxed, heartless. Soften that other knee. All right, this is our last warm up. In the next move, we're going to go ahead and start working into that calf. Four, three, two. All right, so we're going to do toe rock. So, what you're going to do is come up to your toes, come up to your heels. So, as you see, when I come into that heel, I'm kind of taking my chest forward just for opposite thigh so you don't fall backwards. Belly tight. All right, so there are two parts to a calf. You have the gastrocnemius and the soleus. The soleus is the deep muscle. The gastroc is the muscle most people think of when they think of the calf muscle. So we're gonna be working both parts at all angles. Perfect, all right, so we're just gonna move into a heel raise, heel raise. So don't worry about coming up to your highest. This really is, even though it's the body of the workout, this really is just meant to kind of be a warm up. Coming up and down, shoulders relaxed. And you wanna stay back a little bit. So what I don't want you to do is come forward and hinge at the hips. I want you to stay up nice and tall. Looking forward, nice tall through the crown. All right, we're gonna go back to that rock. Toes, heels, toes, heels, belly tight. Great if you can be playing some music as well. 30 seconds isn't long, but sometimes it can seem long, especially when things start to burn. We have about five seconds here, and then we're gonna go back to that heel raise. All right, heel raise. On the next move, we're gonna be turning toward the chair. You can stay facing me if you would like, if that works for you. It's a better angle for me if I turn toward the, um, sideways to the camera so that you can really see what I'm doing here. All right, keep that upper body relaxed. Try not to tense, tense up through those shoulders. Breathe. All right, now I want you to turn toward the chair if you would like, and what we're going to do is squat, and you're gonna bring one heel up and then the other. Belly's nice and tight. I want you back toward those heels. That's what helping, or it's what helping you is holding onto the chair so that you can really sit back into those glutes and so that you're not bringing the knees forward of the toes. Nice and easy. Breathe through it. You may feel a bit through the legs. That's okay. Never hurts to do extra legs. All right, right leg only. All the way up, bring it down. So if you want to make this a little easier, the heel comes down for a break. If you want to make it more intense, you hover the heel and don't bring it down for that break. That will keep the tension through the muscle and will make it more difficult. We have about five seconds here. Whew, feeling that already. All right, we're gonna go back to that first one. Holding the chair. Heel raise, heel raise, come up to those toes. Staying back. So remember, hover and lift, hover and lift. That will make it more difficult, taking it up a level. Keep that tummy tight, staying back into those glutes. All right. Back into that right heel, up and down. Make sure you're coming up as high as you can onto those toes. If you find that this is too much, you just take a break, shake it out, and get back into it when you can. Now, you don't have to do this workout without shoes. You can absolutely do this with shoes if you find that to be more comfortable. This is an ode to Brittany. She hates working out with shoes on, so we do all of our sessions barefoot. All right, now we're gonna take it wide, plie position. Come on down, and now I want you to take those heels up and you're gonna pull, so you're gonna come halfway down, squeeze up, halfway down, squeeze up, halfway down, squeeze up. Let me turn, 
So it'll look like this, tailbone tucked. Halfway, squeeze up. Halfway, squeeze up. Don't be surprised if those legs start to shake. That's a good sign. Breathe five seconds. All right, now we're gonna go single leg, other side, left. Up on those toes, hover if you need to. Shoulders stay relaxed, heart stays lifted. Probably feeling a little warm, I hope. Should be bringing that body heat up. High as you can. Shoulders relax. Five, four, three, two. Back into that plie. Come on down. Heels up, halfway. Up, halfway. Come all the way up onto those toes if you can. Keeping that tailbone tight. I was leaning forward. That's back. Stay back. <laughs> Shoulders down. Hopefully those legs are shaking for you. Shaking through those calves. Woo! Breathe. Five seconds. Four. Shoulders down. Two. One. Come on up. Left. Here we go. Fifteen seconds. Now, if you find that your arches are sore, either after wearing heels or after this workout, you can freeze a water bottle, dump a little of the water out to allow for expansion, and just roll it on the bottom of your foot or myofascial release with a little cross ball. All right, coming back to the center. Take it up, we're gonna hold. So if you have like a hard ball, you'll just roll it across the arch. When you find a tender spot, you're gonna hold it there until it releases. I suggest um, YouTubing or Googling a video for my fascial release of the arch, and uh, that will help step-by-step -step guide you through that process. It really does, it really does help. Shoulders relaxed. And of course, you can stretch those calves every day. All right, we're gonna change the angle a little bit. Take it down, we're gonna take those toes in, up and down. So we're going to hit it at a different angle. Again, if you wanna take it up low, hover. Squeeze up, hover, squeeze up. My calves are feeling it. So I'm going to take my heels all the way down. Up nice and tall, belly in nice and tight. Think of that poise, upper body lifted, shoulders down, squeezing those blades together. Right back up to that calf, hold right here. One thing I also want to tell you, I've seen a lot of workouts with high heels. And uh, I'm just going to nicely ask you to please don't do that. If you have supervision from a personal trainer, that's one thing. But the way you stand in heels really changes the dynamics of your body. And working out with heels can put you in some very bad positions for your joints and other muscles and you can actually injure. So please don't work out in high heels. Walk in high heels, don't work out in high heels. All right, toes in, up and down. Now I want you to find that burn. I want you to stay with it as long as you can. Keep pushing through it, smile on your face, making those legs stronger. All right, we have one more set after this, and then we get to stretch. So you're nearing the end. Stay with me if you can. Three, two, all right, so we're gonna move into first position, which is heels together, toes open. Up, down, up, down. Again, hover if you want, all the way up, up to you. But again, your glutes this time are squeezed together, squeezing through those inner thighs. Belly in nice and tight, up tall. Think of a ballerina, right? This is a bar move. So you're really trying to come up high onto those toes. Give me as much range of motion as you have All right, so now we're gonna move slightly different. You're gonna bend the knees open to the side. You're gonna lift, down, lift. So you're gonna feel the change here. This is a different move. It looks the same, but by bending that knee, you really get a change here. Breathe through. We're not tensing through the shoulders. 
Still keeping those glutes nice and tight. Coming back up, straightening those legs, glutes and thighs tight, toes down. Just run away, release. Trying to keep this movement nice and smooth. Just flow through move to move. Little smile. It's always hard to smile when you work out. Because most people, it's not, you know, a great time. But it does really change your thought process if you smile. Bend those knees. Toes, heels down. Toes, heels down. Up, press down. Up tall. Try not to come forward, right? We're still up tall. Belly's in tight. Shoulders are down. You may feel that shake in still. Or again, or still. <laughs> Mine is still. Mine have been shaken. All right, this is the last one. And there you get to stretch. That's the good news. Take it up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and come down to the floor. I'm just going to go ahead and move this chair out of the way so that I have the full use of the floor. So my favorite calf stretch, and it might just be because I'm a yoga instructor at heart, but is downward dog. So let's go ahead and move on down. And in downward dog, you're really trying to make your body into a triangle. So I'm going to show you how to get into downward dog before we start the stretch. The easiest way is to come into tabletop, wrists underneath the shoulders, knee underneath the hips. Curl those toes and take your hips up. You're trying to make yourself into a triangle. With the apex, the top of the triangle being your tailbone. So you're pushing the tailbone up as you let the heels drop and those shoulder blades away from the ears as you press your chest in toward those thighs. Please don't bend the knees. We're trying to stretch up those calves and you're gonna be able to do that if you bend the knees. So let's go ahead and hold down the dog. We're gonna start by walking the dog. That's just from one heel to the other. Don't force the stretch. You are trying to touch your heel toward the mat, but if it doesn't get there, it's okay. Breathe through it, shoulder blades down. Tummy's nice and tight. All right, now we're going to just hold both heels down, pushing the chest in. You may not get as low as you did on that last move, and that's okay. We're just letting gravity pull those heels toward the floor. Holding positions for 30 seconds is what really gives you the benefits of the stretch and increases the flexibility. So keep that in mind. Tummies are nice and tight. Just let them drop. If it's burning, just shake it out. All right, come on down to those knees. We're going to keep your toes curled under and just push your hips back. This is stretching through those toes. This should feel good. It gets into the arch. And you can go back as far as you can, as long as it feels good. Ten seconds. Next, we're going to stretch the top of the foot. We're going to stay in the same position, but we're going to take the top of the feet to the mat, and you're just going to lift those knees up and off. And this can be tough to hold because it does get your quads. So just hold as long as you can. Go up as high as you can. So I have great flexibility in the top of my foot, so I'm able to come up really high. But listen to your body. Do what you can. Everyone is going to be different, and every day is different. So don't force the stretch. It should feel good. There should never be pain in stretching. There might be an intense pulling, never pain. All right, come on down, have a seat. So this next one's gonna be a manual stretch of the foot. So you just come into a comfortably seated position. I like to take this foot across, but if you don't have that flexibility through the hip, you can do this forward, or you can be sitting in a chair as well. All right, what we're going to do is just grab a hold of those toes and bring them in. So this is a manual stretch. You're gonna feel that it feels different. It hits in a different place. It hits kind of more toward the toes. And you're really gonna pull those, towards to those toes towards your body. And you can hold on to that heel if you like as well. Just breathing through it. And then we're just gonna do the opposite stretch to this. But again, pulling those, toward, those toes toward the shin. I'm struggling with that. 
All right, flex the foot, grab those toes, bring them in toward the shin. I like to hold onto my heel and kind of push the opposite direction just to get as much movement as I can. You can also use like a yoga strap and just have the legs out in front of you and pull. That works as well. Shoulders relax, we're holding 30 seconds for that maximum benefit. No point in wearing heels if you can't be graceful in them. So getting that flexibility is an important fact feature. All right, let's switch. All right, point those toes, pull them in. Grabbing the heel if you like. So this one's totally different. Instead of the toes, I really feel it more toward the ankle. So don't be surprised if each side is different. That happens all the time. Your muscles, different muscles are tight. They're not always the same uh, on each side. Most of us know that. Staying tall, don't round in that spine. I'm nice and tall, train those muscles for that good posture. All right, let's go ahead and grab those toes, pull it in, pushing away at the heel if you like. On this last one, we have two more stretches. We're going to stand and I'll show you how to do this against a wall. Because now we stretch out the foot, but I wanna go back to stretching out the calf one more time. All right, release it. Let's go ahead and stand. So on this next one, We're going to be, pretend this is a wall. Again, it's just difficult to show against the wall. So I really want to um, show you other ways you can do it too if you don't have access to a wall. You want to take the foot and bring the toes against the wall or here it's against the chair. This foot, this other foot comes back. Now what you're going to do is bend those knees, sitting back into this back heel, but then transferring the weight and coming forward as well. So what you're getting is a stretch of the gastrocnemius and the soleus. So you're getting both of those muscles stretched. You can do these individually where you're just focusing on one and then the next 30 seconds you're focusing on another. But in for time, I thought this would be a, a better use of the 30 seconds is to get them both at the same time. 10 seconds, then we're gonna switch. Three, two, one, take it up. All right, other foot forward, other foot back. Squat back into that back foot and then lean into that front foot. Breathe through it. So a lot of times in this particular maneuver, you're really gonna feel this back leg and it's because that soleus doesn't get stretched as much as that gastrocnemius. We have about five seconds. Three, two, one, and take it up. All right, I want you to shake it out. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this, I have tons of other workouts, both yoga, cardio, and weight training on my YouTube. All you have to do is hit like or subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.